Hello and welcome to another episode of One Plus One, featuring the one situation that has decided this peak and rush battle on Shenzhen Knight. The battle was decided by my half-dead Capri. To be precise, it managed to escape heavy fire and get a very important tactical beacon. As a follow-up, we could eventually stabilize our situation, launch a comeback and still win this battle. So let's fast forward to this situation. Alright, let's slow down here. One of the most powerful setups at the moment are Cinder Vino's Titans. Thanks to their agility and firepower combined with powerful motherships, they are extremely hard to bring down. So in this situation we got 5 cap for this reason. So in order to secure this flank back, I helped my team grinding down these Minos. Luckily, it lets us do that and we can even take the beacon back. Finally, we could also bring it down. Sentry is white and up for grabs, so in order to start a comeback we need to get it, because we desperately need beacons here. The keeper is very tanky, so I take the risk and go out into the open by myself. Got it. The reds hold the other flank and our home beacon, so first I try to see if I can help at our home, but then I decide that it's a better idea to go for the flank. And this is now the situation that will decide this battle. I experience heavy fire from multiple opponents and almost die as a consequence. But somehow I make it through the eye of the needle with only two weapons left and can cap this beacon. And if you think that this was it for my Capri, watch this. The reds recapped center in the meantime and I thought that before I die I may as well go for it. So I faced this hawk. I resist with everything that I have. Luckily my team helps with some firepower. And just before I die I managed to turn the beacon blue. Fantastic. So thanks to this effort we are now in this position here. And that's a great tactical position on Shenzhen, because with the bots that we have left, we can now be very reactive. I see that the left side flank is challenged and drop my Fenrir beacon tank there. And although the reds keep pushing back, they are now slowly starting to lose players. So in the end, we could come back in style and win this battle thanks to a turnaround. That was in fact initiated by my half date Kibri. So I hope that you liked this episode of OnePlus One. Thanks a lot for watching and see you on my channel.